Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. Sitting inside today, it has just been raining so much over the last several days, so it's kind of cool outside. I hope you all had a beautiful blessed weekend. I know mine was very productive. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and get started with our devotion. Today, our word says, My ways are very mysterious at times, even to those who know me intimately. It's tempting to my followers to try to control the circumstances of their lives by being good enough. They may not even realize this is motivating their behavior. But when circumstances come crashing down around them, sometimes in tragic ways, they may feel as if I let them down. You must leave room for mystery in your worldview, accepting the limitations of your understanding and knowledge. I will never be predictable or controllable, but I am trustworthy. When adversity strikes you or your loved ones, remember the words of Job. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Though Job faltered at times during his excruciating ordeal, at the end of it he confessed, Surely I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. I, likewise, I urge you to view matters you cannot understand as divine mysteries, things too wonderful for you to know. We don't always know what's going to happen in our life. You know, people say, why did God cause bad things? God does not cause bad things. True, he does allow them to happen. But there are reasons behind it we may not ever understand. But I promise you that good will come from it if you allow it to. We just have to understand the words of Job. The Lord gave and the Lord taketh away. You know, um... Sometimes it's testing. Sometimes it's just this cruel world that we live in that's full of sin. And, you know, but God is always there to help us pick up the pieces. His ways are not always known to us. So we have to trust him to get us through these catastrophes at times. And it's hard. And I realize that. And I talk to myself as much as I tell you to. So today, our verse has come from 1 Timothy 3, 1, 3, 16. Beyond all question, the mysteries of godliness is great. He appeared in a body, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed in the world, was taken up in glory. We're talking about our Lord and Savior. And Job 1, 20 and 22. Then Job arose, tore his robe, and shaved his head, and he fell to the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord take away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all of this Job did not sin, nor charge guard with wrong. Now that's unimaginable what Job went through. And if you know the story of Job, you know what he went through. And if you don't know the complete story of Job, I urge you to go read the book of Job. And then Job 42.3, you asked, Who is this that obscures my counsel without knowledge? Surely I spoke of things I did not understand, two things too wonderful for me to know. And sometimes things are too wonderful for us to know. But we will know one day the mysteries that the Lord has performed down here. And if we just trust him, he will be there to lift us up when we need reassurance and when we need all the pieces put back together. Thank you, my friends, for joining me for this daily devotion. And I will see you all tomorrow morning. And I'll see you a little while later on today with Monday morning coffee. God bless. Bye-bye.